What's up? So it's been a bit since I recorded a Pokemon Showdown match, because honestly I don't get on Showdown much, because I just... I don't really like the online emulator gameplay stuff, but uh, I like the Wi-Fi, I guess, better. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and start the match right about, I think, now? Yeah. So, he's going to lay off with Dawn Fan, I'm going to lay off with Tornado Theory, and I'm obviously on the other side in this replay. And uh, I am going to taunt, expecting him to do the Stealth Rocks, and fortunately he does go for the Stealth Rocks first turn, then he goes for a Head Smash the second turn. I don't really see too many Head Smashing Dawn Fans, so that's interesting. And uh, I'm going to go for the Scald right here, and not get the burn, unfortunately. And then he's going to switch, I guess not wanting his Kirin Black to get burned, and I'm going to switch into Jirachi, expecting an Outrage or something. But nope, uh, and I don't want to stay in, obviously, because he might Fire Blast me. He's obviously going to predict this switch, because the uh, switch was pretty obvious. And I am going to go into Heatran. Surprised he doesn't have the Envar Fighting, but he mentions earlier that he he doesn't, in fact. So, uh, I, I'm guessing he might be sub Cold Mind or something like that. So I'm going to go for the Hurricane right here. And uh, basically take out the Conkolder, which is grand. And then I'm going to go for the Super Power on Kieran Black just to get off as much damage as I can because otherwise it's going to be an issue. He goes for the Ice Beam, I either expect me to switch into Dawn Fan or something or stay in and just sack my Tornado T, which is what I ended up doing. Going to go for the Body Slam, get the Lucky Parahax right there, and then go for the U Turn just to get off some additional damage rather than just right switching since I know I'm faster anyway. And he is going to go for the Stealth Rock. Obviously, I'm a more uh, physically defensive Dawn fan because I took that Ice Shard really nicely. He's obviously more of an attacking Dawn fan. And so I am going to go ahead and Rapid Spin and then just finish him off with Earthquake in case he wanted to go ahead and try and set the Stealth Rocks. Now he's going to Raiding Cure in Black and I thought an Earthquake would do more even though I'm not really necessarily, you know, invested in attack. Unfortunately it's not going to so I predict that he's just going to kind of keep trying to stall out the Roost and stuff. And I'm going to roar him out into his Blissey, and Blissey's going to Toxic me, which is okay, because at this point, I'm just continuously phasing, trying to sack the Dawn Fan anyway. And he is going to go for the Focus Blast with his Zorark, obviously Zorark, because Kieran Black had way less HP. And then he's going to go for Flamethrower, which means he's an expert belt set, but fortunately for me, I am especially defensive Jirachi. So, I can basically take that. I thought about switching, but I know that my... Jirachi is going to be slower than he. Or I mean, my Heatran is going to be slower than Zorark, so there was no point in switching. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and bring in Kirim Black as after I went ahead and went for the U turn. And I'm basically just going to proceed to finish this off with Outrage everything. And I do get lucky, get that three turn Outrage, which is good because that means I'm not going to hit myself in confusion. He goes for Ice Beam for whatever reason. Not really sure why. He could have won this if he went for Outrage. But, you know. Whatever. That is going to be the match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had to use... He, he asked me for a match so suddenly I didn't really get to make a team, so I just used the backup team that I had made. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, pretty much see you guys later!